Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to explain what in copy is. So here I have here on the other side Microsoft, and I want to explain why I have Microsoft here as well. But okay, so in essence, or uh, let's just uh, explain actually what Adobe is all about, and uh, it's actually a tweak and really helps you to to tweak and style your content, and. Um, that's why I actually opened Microsoft Word here as well because why not using Microsoft Word because you can use in copy to edit your text but why not using Microsoft Word well uh, there is actually a reason and the deal here is that uh, in copy it helps when you're using it because it's formatting your text when you applied it in in copy in copy and and it really sticks when you imported it in uh, into Adobe InDesign, and get this it keeps bouncing back and forth moving uh, because in copy shares same text engine as InDesign, so it's compatible pretty much because you know it's the Adobe company and they have InDesign and in copy so it's a good idea to use in um, in copy instead of using Microsoft uh, Word okay so that's not what I wouldn't use Microsoft uh, Word because there's a lot of advantages and there's actually one of the advantages is that styling uh, stays up throughout the process when it's it's set up right in copy us uh, users can get the, to see and work in a layout that looks just like the final product Plus, in copy comes packed with a bunch of handy tools that let writers and editors focus on their job, uh, like checking the the text and um, the fit of the text and the tones and yeah. So in copy won't let you mess with the design of the layout, uh, just the the content the content. Now, now that's pretty much why you should use in copy, in my opinion. Because it just helps you synchronize better and you get a lot of benefits by using in copy and of course in relation to connection with in design. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use and uh, just navigate in uh, in copy, the interface, the layout. Actually, I'm not going to so cancel this. So, how you can uh, navigate in in copy? There's a couple of things that you need to know. And uh, the first one here is how to open a file. So already have it here file, but you can go to uh, file here. And then here you have, uh, sorry here, I don't need this one. So you can click on file and click on new and you can create a new document. Here you have custom uh, document presets and you can change the width the depth the you can specify the vertical space or number of word lines or pages for copy fitting in uh, your text and letter size uh, and here you have other options and then you can click on ok also you can add some custom presets you can also save the presets and click on ok now we have another document here i have the other one here and then once you create a document you're gonna have gallery story and then layout now when you are in in copy and you go to galley here this uh, will display the text content of the document in a in a continuous stream uh, it's like similar to how it might appear in a manuscript or a continuous flow of text so it's a really convenient uh, way for the writers and editors to focus on the text content without being distracted by page layout or formatting now if you are in story then here in story we are talking about the blocks of text that has been assigned to a specific area or section of the document and if you are in layout here is more for the the lay the layout view in adobe in copy and it really shows how the document uh, content of the document will appear when is uh, it's 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 uh, like uh, what is the word I'm looking, like laid out on the final page or 
or spread okay and now let's say i want to add some text well you can use you have to use this tool or if you hover over this tool you can see the shortcut the type tool type tool you can click on t you also have position tool shift a and note tool and shortcut eye dropper tool i and handy tool h and zoom tool z so now i can type here if i want to change the view options i can do it from here you can on screen mode you can change and also float all windows new window the, if you want uh, you can of course uh, click on here and uh, zoom in you can also hold option and then just zoom out you know if you want to add a new window we can go here and uh, then here i have uh, node styles i want to add this layout and now here we have uh, this uh, layout and we also i added here the background the text but i can grab this and move and i can add this right here and other one and then other one here or i can go here at the bottom so yeah you can i just move this the way you want and the way you prefer We have styles, character styles. I can move this here, maybe, you know, and uh, can position this right between. And I can also move this here, and you can collapse like this, and then move other here, and then here. So yeah, it's pretty much really customizable, like in a Photoshop or other. Adobe programs you already use. It's really pretty customizable. And of course, maybe you want, uh, you want this button after you collapse, because you can collapse from here, collapse to icons. If you want to collapse to icons, you just uh, click on here, and then you can just click on uh, each individually, and this will open. If you want to float again, you can just uh, click and drag, to put it back, just move it here and we'll just lock in. You know, uh, of course, if you want to close it, just click uh, here and it will just close. And then for here, we can also make sure you drag out if you want and then click, or we just move it here. And if you actually move it very close to this part can then collapse it from here i can also collapse this as well and you can click one time i think if you have a small screen this can uh, save you more space uh, another thing that you can do in copy is to change the essential so you can change from essential to advanced as you can see we can change from advanced to essentials and it will change uh, the windows here the panels we're gonna have different panels paragraph assignments and also you can change to writing maybe you deleted some of them here you don't want to go back to window and re-add some of this but you can instead of doing that you can click on writing here reset writing you can also create your new your own workspace and click your new workspace and rename this but of course that's you're gonna do that after you customize this way you want and um, you can add now other windows here so you can customize your works and another way to zoom in i show you that you can also use click here and zoom but the way i use it's called option and when you hold option and you use the middle wheel on your mouse you can zoom in and zoom out uh, the same in a photoshop and it is, uh, can be very helpful to do it this way but now the way i like to set up in copy is by going here to type and here we have character styles and paragraph styles so here i can click on character styles paragraph styles and then I have a boat here. I can grab this and uh, move it here. So I have the boat here. 
then I can uh, collapse and then I can uh, move this on this side and uh, then I can go to window workspace and I can save this new space my work space I can click on OK and if I change from advanced I can go back to my workspace now another panel that I like to add here is here in a window and here I can go to type and uh, type in tables and I can click on glyphs and this one usually I'll move it here I can click open which one I need but then if I made some changes in my workspace I can uh, save uh, this I can you know reset if I want to and uh, I can save this workspace if I want new workspace and I'll just save this one by this name and I will just replace, re re replace it so uh, 